back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial for rainy day makeup and it's going to be a talk through tutorial which I've not done yet. And obviously if you're looking outside it is not raining right now but spring is here and we're getting ready to go into those super rainy, humid months. If you're anybody who is super oily or gets really sweaty underneath your makeup during um, the rainy seasons, I hope that you guys will all enjoy this little get together chit chat of rainy day makeup. I don't think there's really anything else left to say, so uh, let's get to it. Alright guys, so the first thing um, that you want to do, especially like um, for rainy day makeup, if you're somebody like me and you have extremely oily skin, you're going to want to make sure that you mattify your face as much as possible. First thing that I'm going to do is use um, Urban Decay's D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray, the oil control one. You can see that. So shake that up. And then I'm going to spray this all over my face. Give your face. A nice little spritz beforehand, uh, which is Innisfree's No Sebum Blur Primer. And I got this um, from Amazon, and it's actually a Korean product. But like I said before, if you ever look at my um, my winter skincare routine video, where I use all these different Korean products, oh my gosh, you get so much bang for your buck with their products. Like I got this on Amazon for, I want to say, $11 of it completely just mattifies your face and then on top of that it really shrinks all your pores too if you're somebody who has um, large pores like I do this stuff is amazing that and not all over my face where I need it to go foundation so I'm gonna use um, Mac Studio Fix Fluid foundation in NC45 I use this all the time I, don't have, I actually don't have any other foundations. That's why I use this all the time. Instead of using a beauty blender, I'm going to use an air puff applicator instead. Like the beauty blender, you have to wet it with water, right? So what that does is that, for me at least, it creates a nice dewy finish to my face. And that's something that I can rock, of course, during winter time. But as we start going on into, you know, spring and summer and I just get more sweatier than ever. That dewy look just becomes an oily look. What I love about um, Air Puffs, um, you can get this um, on Amazon as well. I'm an Amazon junkie, but these are used um, for like the BB cushions uh, that have recently come out. Um, I I don't know if they sell these separately in stores yet. I'm not really sure. But, and so I just really like the overall application of it because it gives me a nice mattified look, which is what I'm going for. That way, you know, my makeup will last all day long. The mirror, no, the mirror's not in the way. I didn't know if my mirror was in the way. I guess it, it is. Okay, my mirror is in the way. If you see this little white thing, it's my mirror. I'm sorry. <laughs> the finish is not dewy at all. So it's, it's perfect for rainy day makeup. So there you go. Now you can see coverage is done. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on um, to concealer. Anastasia's Beverly Hills um, Pop Concealer in the color, or in the shade, excuse me, 4.5. So pop concealers, especially for rainy day makeup, if you're super oily, is the way to go. This stuff goes such a long way. I'm just gonna take just like a tiny little dab of it. Conceal, conceal, conceal. And then also, because this is a lighter shade than what I am, sometimes you do have to blend this out with your finger because of how much lighter it is. Tell you what, I got new lighting, guys, in case you couldn't tell. And you can see everything. Like, I'm doing makeup right now, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have this blemish over here and this blemish over here. Like, did I ever cover this up? Did I ever notice this? Go and use, um... My brow pencil, you guys see me use this a ton of times as well, the IT Cosmetics Brow Power. And it does have the name. It's called, it's called Universal Taupe. That one of my tricks is, especially for 
humid, sweaty days because even though sometimes, like, you know, obviously these, um, I just lost my train of thought. Um, what is this called? <laughs> what is this called? Brow pencils, they're, they're meant, you know, to help stay on you know, all day and that, you know, that way your eyebrows, um, don't move. Or, but it just becomes oily if I don't do this trick, which is, I'm just going to take, um, translucent powder, Laura Mercier's translucent powder, and I'm going to put this on top of my eyebrows. Guys, excuse my eyebrows. They are, I don't know who they are. Excuse the brows, guys. Excuse the brows. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows to the best of my little ability. <laughs> It's really nerve-wracking, I gotta say that. I hate doing my eyebrows on camera. Oh, relax, relax. <laughs> That's why I'm not zooming in either. <laughs> that is exactly why I'm not zooming in at all. I don't want you guys to see. <laughs> That's the good it's gonna get. Okay, brows are done. Now we're gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. Okay, my trusty primer potion on top of my eyelid. And I actually do the bottoms as well. I'm going to take my Naked 2 palette and I'm going to take the color Chopper. Can you see this? I like it. This one right here. Yeah, Chopper. Um, Tarts. Uh, what the name of this palette was. Hmm. One color right here. I'm just going to use that for um, my outer V. Look guys, these lights, they make me question my whole makeup existence. Oh my gosh, I never knew that, you know, when I do my V like this, that I'm really doing it this way, or this is actually a different color than it, I thought it was. <sighs> I'm shook. This light vanilla color over here on this side um, in Foxy. I'm going to use this as my brow bone color. It's called again. Oh yeah, the word I don't like. Um, <sighs> taking booty call. <laughs> This light champagne pink right here. I'm just gonna put that in the corner of my eye to give my eye just a little bit more light to it. I'm gonna use um, a waterproof eyeliner. This is um, Marc Jacobs eyeliner in blacker, like lacquer but blacker. Black. <laughs> Here we go. What are we doing next? Oh, eyeliner. Oh, not eyeliner. Mascara. Yeah. Using my faithful Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. That's a mouthful. And I do know for sure that this does come in waterproof at the time I bought it yet. So I'm going to use that for my top lashes. And then I'm going to go in with my Clinique High Impact Mascara. Looks like this is a mini because I got this as a gift. Um, on the bottom lashes and on the top lashes if I need it. I'm not sure. going to contour and I'm going to be taking um, Benefits Hoola. I love this stuff. It's like the best contour shade ever. Puff again. I'm going to take my foundation again one more time too. And what I'm going to do is that I know that sometimes powdered blushes like they can kind of get some slippage as well when you're super oily. When you just take your foundation and Put a lot of it on. I mean, it's kind of like baking, but not baking. I don't know what you want to call it. Freezing. Put a lot on, and then put your blush on like right away, right after as well. Still kind of like not wet, but I guess you could say tacky would be the right word. The blush comes out more vibrantly, and it also stays on a lot longer. I I don't know if it's just like in my head or something. I don't know, but I've done this 
like a million times and my blush stays put. It's great. And put on the foundation blush. Yes. Tarte's Party or your blush of your choice. And I'm just going to go ahead and just dab it on my cheek. And with Hula. And I'm just going to do um, some shading just to um, bring some warmth, warmth back into my face. gonna do this all onto like the sides of my cheek and down to the jawline. My Urban Decay spray for insurance, guys. I don't know what else to say other than it's for insurance to make sure that this stuff will not be oily. I'm gonna go in with uh, my Laura Mercier's translucent powder. And then with the powder, I'm just going to go ahead and instead of like sweeping it across the face, I'm actually just going to like pat slash roll. It's upside down. Pony Effect Favorite Fluid Lip Tint in Romantic Breath. And I'm going to just put that all over my lips. The lip tints are just easier overall to, to deal with, especially on a rainy day. That is it. This is um, rainy day makeup for you guys. I hope that you guys all enjoyed and that all of these tips were helpful for you guys. You can find me on Facebook under The Ugly Duckling and on Instagram at swangirl93. And I always think, I'm like, after I say this, I never know what else to say. So <laughs> be beautiful and be you. Mwah. Love you guys. Here you go, guys. Here are the new light. Oh, hold on. can you see this? The new lights. Ooh, la la. And the mess that I've made. Fabric tag over my camera. I'm trying to film this for all you beautiful people. Rainy day makeup. <laughs> Gorgeous. Check it out, check it out.